My disability is twofold. I have a hearing impairment and I also have type 2 bipolar disorder. I'm autistic, ADHD and dyslexic. I have Down syndrome and I'm proud of that. I live with mild cerebral palsy, which is a physical disability and a mild vision impairment. My disability is called paroxysmal kinesiogenic choreatitosis. It is a neurological disorder that I've had since I was 16. It affects um, the, my limbs and the way they function. Sometimes I have temporary spasms and then sometimes I might not feel anything in my leg or my arm. What end up, ends up happening is that I'm, I'm not able to walk, um, I'm not able to move. I think I always feel different. I always think that wherever I go I stick out. I think we all feel different from other people, don't we? Regardless of whether we have a disability or not, we're all unique. Do I ever feel different from other people? Well, the answer is no. I have the same set of goals, ambitions, dreams as anyone else does. I did feel different when I first came here because I was isolated and for the whole first year, nobody in my girls' school in Stratfield which I joined in year 10, didn't talk to me until I told them in my class that I'm not an alien, you can come up and say hello. And I'm just a noble person. I think my hearing impairment has been somewhat of a superpower for me. I tend to have to listen very carefully to people when they speak and read between the lines, watch their faces, understand nonverbal cues and also really pay attention to subtext because if I can't hear every word in a sentence, I've got to understand the meaning behind the sentence. I honestly thought my disability was a weakness. It was only until I really had a deep think about what my disability means to me. It, it made me more self-aware, more organised, it made me think more, uh, it made me articulate my thoughts more. My strength is the outside-the-box thinking and pattern recognition which probably not everyone likes. I have a high pain threshold, so I will keep on smiling even though I'm in pain. You will not know that I'm in pain until I sc absolutely scream. I think there are benefits to being neurodivergent and seeing the world in a different way. It forces you to push harder or do something a little bit more unique or different. Benefits for having a disability, uh, you get to push in line and uh, people have to let you. I'm a cane user. I can see a little bit, but because of the cane, you get free transport on, with a cane. When people find out I have a disability, I wish that they would ask me what makes it easier for me to understand or be around them. How do they operate in my environment? Because then I can tell them, tap me on the shoulder if you're speaking to me from behind, so I know that you need my attention. Or don't cover your mouth up when you're talking or can you please make sure to raise your voice if you know there's a lot of background noise and it just makes it really easy for them to accommodate my hearing impairment whereas if they don't ask I'm then like <laughs> I can't see your mouth <laughs> can you please and it gets a little bit awkward. Uh, if people could ask me something like uh, do you need any assistance uh, do you need any help? Ask a simple question do you need help and what kind of help do you need to assist you and then they will tell you they will guide you on what assistance they need do not pick up their arm and go, can I guide you? And you guide a person by the elbow, not by their hands. I don't think um, anyone should ask anything when they find out somebody has a disability. I think it should be just normal. The spaces that I attend have more disabled people attending and that's because the space has been made to include disabled people, it's made accessible for neurodivergent people and people with other disabilities. Once spaces are accessible and everyone is included, it should be just a normal thing that there are some people with disability attending and included. You can see the look on my face like 100% I've definitely hid my disability. 100% okay so that that's a dead giveaway. You know again it's it's more to do with societal uh, expectations, um, um, I'm embarrassed about it, I'm scared of sh revealing who I really am, um, uh, I'm scared of how people might perceive that as a weakness. I truly wish that I could put it on my resume and say, hey, this is, this is part of me, this is, this is going to stay with me for the rest of my life, and this is who I am. 
I'm pretty sure I have been masking my entire life. I have never tried to hide my disability. I have never hidden my disability. Never. Because I come from a positive background where my parents are teachers. They have never treated me differently in, in the family mould. I'm just as normal as them. That's a good question. Some people, I don't bark sometimes because of the attitude towards other people. I think it's sometimes unintentional when people disable you or when people don't know how to react. Society has taught us a lot of stigma and a lot of prejudice. I wish that I do not have to ask every organisation or every place that I go to, is the place accessible? How accessible is the place? Can I meet someone there to guide me? I think the fact that people's attitude towards mental illness is still a little bit backwards really disables me because it means that on the days that I have really high energy, I'm considered to be extremely capable and effective at my work. But on the days that it's really difficult to summon up that motivation because of my bipolar, I either have to hide that or I can tell the truth, but then often people tend to judge pretty hard and go, oh great, we've got one of those up and down people. <laughs> and it's just unreliable, inconsistent. So that attitude can be very disabling. I probably wouldn't change anything about my life because I'm quite happy where I am and where my journey has led me. I don't see a reason why I should change anything in my life. International Day of People with Disability was actually the first time last year I started speaking out about my disability. Um, the International Day of People with Disability is to celebrate who we are and we belong together. It's that we get to talk a bit more openly about what disability is for each of us and what are the ways that we um, celebrate it, you know, are challenged by it and it encourages open conversation about something that's often a little bit difficult to raise and question as well. So it gives people an opportunity to ask us about our disabilities in a safe way. International Day of People with Disability is a celebration of my disability, it is a celebration of a life well lived on an everyday basis.